So um, my flag, the Union Jack, is flying with an enemy flag, the United States, at the Bedford War Memorial. Uh, you should see what these people have done to me here in this country. And obviously my family uh, got together as a kind of a whole. Uh, the, uh, the family did it to my father and to me. Made sure I stayed exiled and tortured over here. I haven't seen any. I know that some of my German relatives helped. And the British helped me, the citizens, uh, and some Americans. And let me remind you, the O'Keefe's are American. <laughs> uh, you seem to have forgotten or you didn't care when it comes to torturing me. It was okay to do it. You're above the law. And that's what I've been told, and it's true. Nobody's been held accountable. But um, I, I really wanted to show you what they do with, oh, the Nazis did it. And here's Clooney making um, <laughs> these making out that the Americans are the good guys. Of course, that's as long as you don't tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth and they just come tumbling down, let me let me tell you. Because some of this affects the Americans, that's the deal too. Like programming um, Timothy McVeigh, Oklahoma City Bomber, and um, anyway... I want to finish about, uh, this is Elizabeth's grandmother. She's uh, Philip's mother. And um, her personal courage to protect a Jewish family. So they made it out like it's okay to have done this to me and my father and to take over everything British, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds. I think for my own family to become part of it is the sickest thing you can ever see. But um, I don't know, where was everybody when they were with me? They were trying to kill me. My own family was. Anyway, Alice, supposedly, and I'm going to tell you this because of what I know. You, you think Philip would give a rap about his own mother, wouldn't he, instead of money? I'm going to tell you right now what they did to his mother, Alice. Uh, they made her out to be paranoid schizophrenic, and I can tell you now, the symptoms I've read, I haven't read this until today, when I heard Elizabeth and Philip were off to France to honor Air, uh, the Americans and everything in D-Day. Uh, she worked for the United, she works for the United States, her and Philip, and her father did, so hey, talk about traitors, and, but I, I looked it up then, um, and so this is um, Elizabeth, and she's not the queen, but she's sitting there using it. She's a thief and a traitor and should be tried. But this is Philip's mother, uh, Princess Alice. She was uh, put in, they called it an asylum, treated for paranoid schizophrenia. And I can tell you the things that I have read, I'm not going to go ahead and read all this, are things that can be done with you and are, and they can be done, period, and have been. Um, I don't even want to read it on here. The woman wasn't crazy, I can tell you that right now. But she was hauled off, and I don't know what happened to her. I haven't read all the rest of it. But the uh, they were Greek, the royal family, and at uh, age 18 months, Philip, the future Duke of Edinburgh, which is, he's legally not, but he's married to Elizabeth, the whole thing's illegal. So he was put into a makeshift orange crate and escaped on a British warship. Now then, here's what they did. They kidnapped and brought me over here. I don't know I, how they got me over here. I hadn't thought of a ship bringing me over here, or a plane, I thought maybe with the Kennedys. Um, Joe Kennedy was ambassador to England. He helped with my kidnapping, and his two sons were there in the embassy to England uh, helping their dad. So, you know, my thoughts were after I found all this out, did they fly me out and fly me to, have me flown, I don't think they did it personally, 
uh, they could have flown me out, but uh, there was an air base, Cortland Air Base, near Molson, Alabama during that time. My thoughts now looking back, finding out about it, was I, they flew me in, is my thoughts. But they put him in a crate, and I can't tell you all that was done to me. Uh, what two men, I can remember the suits and stuff, and I remember them bringing me and giving me, it was in the spring because I didn't have a sleeve on. I had curly blonde hair then. Um, I can remember they had a portrait of my father, King Edward VIII, and um, he was holding me. I had just been christened. And I remember the two men handing me to Lima Dempsey, who was mother of the twins she had killed, and I was brought up being told I was Peggy, one of the twins. Uh, when, in fact, both were dead. But I can remember these two men. They were slender, and I saw them another time when they come back and did something else to me and sent it to my family to make sure they knew what was being done to me. And uh, anyway, the, the portrait of my father was put in a little hole up in this pigsty, and I creeped. I went up there when they managed to climb up in it, and the portrait was still there, but later it disappeared, so I don't know who took that away. But I can remember them saying, this family, if you call it a family I grew up with, uh, that they were supposed to receive money. And in reality, um, Lionel Dempsey, the mother, would have been held uh, for the death of the twins, and the gas chamber. But here's the mental health, uh, just like in the mind control murders, has been used for God knows how long. It goes back probably before the Tesla files were stolen in the early 30s. But um, here's what they said about Philip. When he was when he was brought to uh, Scotland, he was uh, put in private schools. So he had a good education, but um, his uncle was Lord Lewis Mountbatten and father of Countess Mountbatten. And Countess Mountbatten recalled Philip's visit, um, visited them one Christmas. He signed his name in the visitor's book and gave his address as no fixed abode. This is what they've done to me. They brought me over here. And I'm talking about Philip Mountbatten mar married to Elizabeth right there. He was homeless. Um, you would think that he would have some scruples about what had been done to me. They're living off of my money. They brought me here and they have tortured me and my son every day of our life. They made me look like a pauper. They have made me a pauper. I have gone without eating. I have walked to find my sons, Mark and Scott, who are heirs after me. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. If people can't see it, and the fact that this has been hidden, the fact that they took down my father and put a 99-year seal on it and hid my birth and brought me over to this country, and Elizabeth and Philip Mountbatten are living a life that is not theirs. They should be in prison. And I'm going to go back to um, this because names surrounding me and um, like I worked for after they put antifreeze in me, I'd written the book in 77, 78, and um, got a letter from the FBI June the 23rd, which ironically is my father's birthday. Uh, of course, it was in 79 that I got the letter. And then April the 1st of 80, I'm still full of antifreeze and should have died. And it was a fiasco that you cannot believe what they did to me. They, I went for a tox screen to the emergency room to neutralize what had been given me to find out what it was, if I, it could be neutralized. And it was, I mean, it, they meant to kill me. They moved me around, and my ex-husband was in on it. And um, I was carried across the state line by Lina Dempsey. And um, 